So I'm logging into All right, all right, everyone on Zoom. We're gonna be getting started here shortly. It's only 1029. All right, load up. You gotta say 729 for your West Coast people. 729 right now. We're about to get this party started, y'all. Make sure y'all drop the links in all of the groups. Drop the links. We are starting in 30 seconds. We're starting live and direct in 20 seconds. If you're on Clubhouse and then you're on uh, Zoom, please mute one of the uh, audios out, you guys. All right, so let's go ahead and dive in it. Peace, everyone. Peace. I'm so happy and grateful. Um, I'm so happy and grateful to be moving this platform uh, over to Clubhouse as well. I'm so super lit about today, you guys. Today just feels like one of those awesome days good day to be alive, uh, you know, good day to just prosper. And, um, you know, today I really wanted to really touch on the mind, right? Because I don't even know if we know how amazing our mind is, right? How amazing our mind is and how, how prosperous your mind can be. And so I want to dive in that today. But before we do, we're going to have to get some more people up in this uh, in this clubhouse or on the Zoom. So we're not going to start yet until we can get about 10 more people up on this clubhouse on the Zoom. Because what I'm going to be sharing with you guys today is so valuable. It's such a simple concept, but the most simplest things are the hardest, right? So... Go ahead, get some people in here. I'm going live right now, right on Facebook. So everybody knows what the dealio is. All right, going live. All right, let's push it back. Let's go, let's go. Invite some people you know. Ping this room, ping this room. What they be saying on here? Ping the room, ping the room. <laughs> Let's get it. Let's get it. All right, you guys, I don't have a lot of time, so I do want to go ahead and, and, and hop in the topic tonight. If you're just getting in, as I said before, you guys, my name is Isis Love. I'm a digital entrepreneur, and um, I literally uh, travel around the world showing people how to cultivate a healthier relationship with money, with their mind, and also learn how to multiply and grow your money, you guys. So I'm so super uh, lit. Um, shout out to my Generation 12 community that's on the call tonight, Trade Nation, that's on the call tonight to uh, support the movement, you guys. I want to go ahead and I want to dive in. And I, I want to get started with it, you guys. If y'all got y'all notebook ready and y'all ready to get these nuggets, uh, let, me, let me see some 22s in the chat bar. What's going on, everyone coming in? We are live on Zoom and live on Facebook. Today, we're going to be speaking about how amazing your mind is when you think, when you think, how prosperous you are. 
So let's go ahead and dive into it, you guys. See, your mind is amazing. And when you use it, it works even better, right? Just, it just has to be fine-tuned, right? The more fine-tuned you can sharpen your mind, the easier it is going to be for you to manifest what you want in your reality, right? That's how amazing your mind is. But see, the thing is, we haven't really been using our mind to our full capability, right? We've, we've been really, we really haven't been taught how to really think. See, a lot of times we think that we think, but we're not really thinking. We're just living through repetition, right? We're living through patterns. We're not really fully thinking, but if we were just to think, Imagine this, if you can, if we could really use our thoughts to, to our full advantage, this is when you start to get into commanding and demanding what type of reality that you want, right? So check this, right? I hope you guys are taking, taking notes. So, so we have, and I talked about this a little bit, I think last week. So this is just our body, right? And within our body, we live in this body. So I want you to imagine your body, right? And I want you to imagine your body being like uh, uh, whatever type of car you want, all right? My body's gonna be a Tesla, right? When you're inside of the Tesla, you're inside of it. You're not the Tesla, right? But you're inside of it. And it's the same thing with your body. Your soul is inside of your body. Right. And therefore, you can command your body what to do with your mind. See, it starts with thought and then the action happens. But the action comes from the body. But the thought must drive the body to do what it wants to do. Now, see, when you fine tune that connection between your mind and your body, you really become equanimous to everything. Nothing really bothers you. Nothing, you just stay in a state of calmness, of oneness, of present moment, of um, responding versus reacting, right? Remember, we speak a lot about emotional intelligence and how to properly, you know, get the mind working in your favor versus your mind working against you. Now, really quick, I just kind of want to reset the room, reset the room. If you're just coming in, welcome, welcome, welcome to the Clubhouse Mo Mental Momentum. Today, we are speaking about how amazing your mind is when you think. Um, go ahead, follow all the moderators at the top on uh, IG, you guys, our profile and everything. That's all we ask. You know, we're giving out this sauce. Follow us on IG. Now, check this out, you guys. Check this out right here. So if you don't change your mind, you don't change your action. If you don't change the way you think, you're not gonna change the results that you're getting, right? It's going to stay the same because it happens in the inner, right? It happens inside of you, right? It happens inside of your body, right? So when you see when things happen, we're always looking external. We're always looking to who to blame outside of ourselves. We're always looking to some force in the sky to save us. We're always just waiting. But when you rejoice with your mind and your subconscious mind, you know that you don't, you're not waiting on anybody but yourself. That's why people say, get out of your own way. You got to get out of your own way because you're really truly just waiting on yourself, right? Now check this out. Check this out, y'all. When you put both of them together, when you put the action, right, and the thought together, that's the formula. That is the formula for success because faith without works is dead, right? So you gotta have both of the combinations. Now, what people fail to realize, you guys, is that we become what, what our thoughts are. Right, it's called the law of thinking, and most people don't think this, but you truly become what your thoughts are. Right, and if you're just coming in the clubhouse room and you want to join us visually, the link is above. Right, so you're probably thinking, Isis, that's not true. I didn't think about this life that I'm living in right now. Yes, you are. You see, we have so many thoughts throughout the day. So many thoughts throughout the day 
that we don't even fully know or conscious of the thoughts that we have. So if you're living in a, a, a place in your life where you don't want to be, you need to ask yourself, how are you thinking? What have you been thinking? Who have you been surrounding yourself around that has been thinking in a certain way that has affected your outside reality? Because at the end of the day, it's you. So whatever is reflecting in the side of you, I mean, and you could be making a hell of money. Right? You can be making hella money, but it's not about the money. It's about how do you feel in the inside? How is your self-talk to yourself? How do you talk to yourself? How you talk to yourself, right? And how you treat yourself and how you communicate with yourself is a reflection on how you're going to communicate and talk to others. See, <laughs> when people speak to me and let's just say a way that I'm like, damn, how could they say that? I can't even trip because I know it's the way that they speak with themselves. Because when you speak to yourself with respect, you're going to speak to others with respect. So most definitely get the inside fixed, right? Clean that out. Because here's the thing, your most dominated thoughts, it's the most dominating thoughts. Now we have all kinds of, you're probably like, well, ISIS, I think about hitting the lotto sometimes. Why that didn't happen? Is that your most dominant thought? Your most dominant thought, you're putting so much energy in it. You're putting so much emotion in it. Think about it. Think about, let's just think about it. You're pissed off about something, right? And here you go. You start to think about it. You're not thinking about anything else. That, that thought keeps coming. It just keeps coming at you. It just keeps coming at you. And before you know it, you allowed your thoughts to shift your whole mood. For therefore, you still don't have control over your emotions because your emotions is happening in the inside and it's affecting your outside. Right? So we have to come to a status, a status quo in our life where we are not reacting, we're responding. We're coming up with solutions in that moment when something hits versus letting it alter the way we feel. Because when you dominate and you keep thinking about it and thinking about it, you just keep getting madder and madder and irritated and irritated and so much frustrated and frustrated. Well, why do you keep thinking about it? Instead of perceiving it, because perception is everything. When we perceive a thing in one way, we become obsessed with that one way of seeing that thing. But when we widen our perceptions and be like, you know what? Well, maybe it could have happened because of this. Or, you know, why don't I just see it in that light? Why are you focused on seeing it in one way so much? See, we have been conditioned and addicted to the negativity to the pain, to the hurt. We've been so programmed, it's so programmed to a molecular level, a DNA level, a cellular level. That is why it takes time and repetition to really deprogram yourself from this matrix. You guys, the Matrix movie was a documentary. I, man, go back and see that movie. Don't watch it with your physical eyes. When you watch the Matrix, watch it with your inner eye because it hit different, right? Remember when Neo woke up in that pod, he was in that simulation and everything was hooked up to him? Right now you hooked up and it's layers to the matrix, it's layers to awareness. You gotta think about it. We wasn't really taught awareness. Our awareness, you gotta think about what our parents did when it was time for us to be alert or aware. Watch out, tie your shoes up, watch out, don't bump your head, move, a car is coming. Get out the way. These are all like when you were programmed to be aware, you were programmed to be on alert. You don't really know how to use awareness where it is beyond this 3D reality. Right? See, remember, you're getting so caught up on everything that you see around you when it's beyond you. <laughs> right? So check this out, you guys. Check this out. Check this out. So riches and poverty is the same thing on the on just different side of the coin you know what they say this is the same thing different side of the coin right you either really 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 use one side or and you really really abandon the other or vice versa so to get to riches right 
it's on the same side. So that's why some people can go from living in a car, being very, 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 very broke, and then going up to being rich and vice versa. It's the same thing. The amount of money that you have dictates a couple of things. It dictates how many people are you giving to? How many people are you helping? So if you're not receiving the money that you want to receive, you have to ask yourself, am I really helping people? And not in Miss Tracy's voice, am I depositing? Am I making deposits into other people's lives? Am I making deposits in my own life? But see, because if you can't even deposit in yourself, how can you deposit in somebody else? See, I post something on my page about people pleasing. You so worried about how the other person feel. It's about how you feel. Now, I'm not saying to be all disrespectful, all willy nilly and just treat anybody any kind of way. But you got to please yourself. Some of you guys give so much time and energy to people outside of you, especially your family. A lot of you guys give a lot of time and energy to pleasing your family that don't even respect your energy. And you've been so caught up because I was there with my family. You've so caught up on, oh, that's my brother. Oh, that's my mother. Oh, I, I can't do that. You could do anything you want to do. It's the power in saying no. That's part of loving yourself. That's part of putting yourself first. See, when you are able to deposit in yourself emotionally, spiritually, and physically and create boundaries, around your energy, you won't let people come and cross your boundaries because you know what your boundaries are, right? So you have to get out of the people pleasing stage, unprogram that and learn how to say no. The moment I told my mother no, it feels so empowering. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Like I was like an ATM to my family and it was because I allowed it. I didn't have any boundaries around it. They know if they would ask me for money, I would be right there. Whatever you like. <laughs> Y'all remember coming to America? Whatever you like, right? Not even realizing how I really feel inside, right? So I know that kind of went off top of, but the spirit just told me to go ahead and bring that out, right? So I wasn't, I didn't talk to my mom for like a whole year, maybe a couple months, a whole year, right? Because I had to set my boundaries in my life so that I can make sure that I'm able to do it with other people, right? So with that being said, you can get to riches by switching your mind. See, most people, and I say this a lot because repetition is the key, and I got about four more minutes. Most people are so wrapped up on being breakfastarians, fruitarians, vegetarians, vegetarians, only eat fish, only eat dairy on Tuesdays. I flush my body out for a month. You focus so hard on that, not to say that that's not a, 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 a good piece on your mind, but yet you always speak with nastiness, but yet nastiness comes out your mouth. You're eating the most organic foods, but you're constantly saying, I can't do it. I'm gonna try. I don't have any money. My money is tight. I can't do this, but you're so focused on the organic food. <laughs> Yo, it's all on what you believe on. Do you know that you can eat something and really change the chemical compounds on what you're eating because your mind creates everything in your reality? So the don't get so caught up on what you're eating, what you're putting in your mouth. What are you saying out of your mouth? What are you speaking out of your mouth? Because that is creating your reality. I know some people that's super rawitarian. They raw, they sun gazing at the sun, they, they, they pineal gland and they chakra is supposed to be aligned, but they're the most miserable, brokest people ever. Because they're not paying attention to what's coming out of their mouths, right? So change your reality by changing your thoughts. Change your reality by standing in your square and knowing how to speak and say no. Man, how amazing your mind is when you start to think, right? And I'll leave you with this last thing. 
how is this pro how does this program even takes uh take take place it takes place from an early childhood i want you guys to know this i don't have any kids right now right but i'm definitely training and prepping my brain up for my child right but if you already have kids it's so 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 very important that you get your mind together because if you don't get your mind together guess what happens to your children your children are like sponges they soak up everything that you do and what happens is we continue to create a generation of programmed individuals think about when you were little and you said mom i want this and your mom said well where are you going to get the money from you were so little, you didn't know where you were gonna get that money from. So you carried that thought of, oh, I can't do this because I don't know where the money's gonna come from. Then you get a little bit older and your parents come and say, we can't afford this. How are we gonna afford this? Now you still don't even know yourself how you can afford it. So you grow up and you don't know how to do things. You don't know how to set a goal and be taught how to achieve what you want. So if you don't know how to do this and you can't teach your children how to do this, we just keep this cycle of non-thinkers. It starts from the environment. It's called environment conditioning and it is running rampant in our society. Everybody's doing the same thing. I don't care where you are, Everybody's sounding the same. They're taking the same pictures. They're doing the duck lips. Everybody's doing that. I think my butt's getting big challenge. Everybody's dancing on TikTok. Everybody just do the same thing everybody's doing. Ain't nobody really thinking. We're in a freaking matrix simulation. <laughs> nobody is thinking. The environment condition is running rampant in our society. It's a conditioning, it's a dis-ease, it's a parasite, right? So I urge you, get your mind right for your children. All these little kids running around with, oh, do you letting them play with these guns and these shooting games and these killing games? Why do you think they growing up so violent? Why do you think they running around the house tearing shit up, fighting and shit, fighting at school? Because you are conditioning them in that environment. You are allowing them to program their mind. I remember when I was smaller, my mom allowed us to have the little cigarette gum. Y'all remember that gum? I was born in 87, right? Y'all remember that gum? It's, it was literally cigarettes. And if you would smoke it, smoke would come out. Why would you even make a candy for a child to already condition their mind to wanting to start to smoke cigarettes? environment conditioning and because we don't know how to think and we just follow the flow of the matrix of the masses we just go along right around and do it and give it to our kids right so i urge you today to think if you didn't get anything from this call from this live zoom from this clubhouse I want you guys to start really thinking and the quickest way to think is to be quiet the more you can be quiet and meditate and stop hopping on your phone. Some of y'all hop on y'all phone so freaking early. Already tapped in, texting people, hitting people up, inviting people into your energy field when you haven't even got yourself together. I'm telling you, I'm so anal. People know if you around me, don't even look at me in the morning <laughs> in the rising. Don't even look at me. Don't even fix your lips to ask me a question. Some of y'all text me so early in the morning and I love y'all, but I'm not going to answer you until I am done. And because I'm able to do that, I'm able to slow my mind down and think versus react. Things are starting to manifest in a rapid way. I'll leave you with one thing. I was writing my goals today. I said, I'm so happy and grateful now that I took this amazing trip to New Zealand in a private jet. Today, when I was reading my book, Bob Parkman was like, I met this guy from New Zealand. So baby, everything, I put it out and it's a boomerang, it's done. The manifestation is starting to happen fast. But see, if you don't have a certain level of awareness, you would have missed the sign. The average person wouldn't even pay any attention. They just would have read the book. Oh, okay, New Zealand. Yeah, okay, yeah. 
<laughs> but you got to have a certain level of awareness to be able to catch every intricate little sign from spirit. So look, you guys, I have about two minutes because I'm literally, I just decided to take a little vacate in Atlanta and a whole Airbnb, you guys, and I got to get ready to check out. But with that being said, anybody from Clubhouse, anybody from Zoom, anybody from Facebook, YouTube, want to come off mute and share something today? Good morning, Isis. How are you? This is Tracy. Um, let me tell you this. This spirit was in this building this morning. You understand me when I say that? Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay. It was in the building this morning because as I get up this morning and I'm going through my morning meditation, when you talked about what we are manifesting by, how we feel and how what comes out of our mouth, I automatically this morning, the spirit kept telling me we need to embrace joy. We forget all about having joy. That three little word, we forget all about it because we're too hard on ourselves. We don't give ourselves credit for anything. And when I heard you say it, I said, wow, spirit, you just confirmation, joy. We need to take back joy. At night, we need to go to bed with joy on our mind so we can wake up with joy in our spirit. You know, the scripture says weeping with joy in the night, but joy will come in the morning. We need to have joy through everything that we're going through, whether it's a bad situation, a good situation. We need to speak it. And when you talked about, they say that you are what you eat. They say it. If you eat shit, that's what you are. But if you eat the right thing and you speak the right thing, that's what you are. And when you was talking about the day, I just sat here and I was shaking my head like, Lord, she's coming through. She on point. What the hell? Come on with this. This is real because this is so true. We lack the common sense of having joy, tapping into joy. And you're right. I said deposits. We got to keep on depositing into ourselves to pour out into each other. But we can't do that because we don't know how to release the correct energy into the universe. So with that being said, Girl, you know, we're going to talk later, but girl, I just want to tell you, blessings, queen, you did it today. Girl, you set this call on fire. Love you. Peace. <laughs> Love you too. Let's go. Let's go. Anybody else? Let me see real quick. If we got somebody on Clubhouse. Anybody on Clubhouse want to come off uh, and say anything? Any, any takeaways or anything? You just raise your hand and I'll allow you in. All right. So anybody out here on Zoom got anything else they want to say? Yeah, this success, yeah, this success. Hey, man. Let me see. I think you got to mute yours now, Isis. Okay. All right, hold on one second, you guys. You know, we, we multitasking here. We, <laughs> we got to figure out this audio for Clubhouse and Zoom, but we got it, we got it. Um, I want to thank everyone that's in the room, Clubhouse, and definitely Generation 12 and all the guests that came on. Isis, this morning, brain food was so on point, man, that that what comes out your mouth, you're so worried about what you put in your mouth, but what comes out your mouth, what you're telling yourself is so important. You have to wake up every morning telling yourself great things, even throughout your day. I've been just listening to great things all day. I haven't even been listening to the radio at all. It's all kind of crazy things going on. And you don't want that to feed your mind. You want to definitely feed your mind with your thoughts and things that you want. I just recently um, was, was focusing on the car that I want. And I got so more, so detailed, so detailed. I've been just looking, looking, looking. I said, I really want a Tesla, but I want a convertible. So I Google convertible Tesla and see this wonderful video of the new Roadster coming out. And all of a sudden, um, I'm seeing Teslas drive by, constantly seeing Teslas drive by. And I even go to the website because, you know, they normally let you design yours. And I saw that they had a replica of the actual car. So you already know I ordered it so that I can have my Tesla replica sitting in the car because you have to be that dogmatic about it. You want to immerse yourself in what you what you want to manifest. And it's already manifest manifested. You just have to keep the course. So I just want to encourage everyone to tap in with us every morning and get this mental brain food and share this with everyone. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Yes, you guys. I am uh, super excited, super elated for today's show. You guys, like I said, it was the first time we're on Clubhouse uh, tomorrow at 1030. Like she said, you can catch us again. We're going to have... Um, 
Miss uh, Dominique, come on Fridays with Mindfulness Fridays, you guys, at 1030. So definitely tomorrow, let's pack this call out. Let's make sure we let everybody know um, the uh, Clubhouse link. Uh, make sure everybody knows the Zoom link. We're on Facebook, too. Make sure you share it on Facebook. You guys, people need to wake up just like this. Imagine if more people can wake up with some more positivity into their life. We'll start to have a little bit more better people in the world because it's so nasty out there. You have to come through very, very bright, shine your light. If you're on Clubhouse, make sure you just go ahead and follow the moderators go ahead our igs and our facebooks is in our um and our bio go ahead and follow us so you can stay up to date that's all we ask on the clubhouse is just a you know love for love but i love you guys i will catch you guys at the beaches and the banks all around the world you guys peace and love